Hey everyone, and welcome to Kip TV. I'm Kip, and today I've got a sixes match for you because you know how awesome I am at casting sixes. It is ESCA Open between Team Echelon and Wu Tang Financial. I've casted these guys before, and they are fun and uh, accepting of my lack of sixes knowledge when uh, I cast them. So they get casted again. Over on Team Echelon, we have Jaguar Fiend as Demo Pie Hero and Pin Cushion. Our Scouts Purple is Soldier as well as Zen, and then Pyrokinetis is Medic. Over on Wu Tang Financial, also WTF, we have Crossfire and Clam. As scouts, Radium is Medic, OBJ is Demo, Zigster, and Cole are soldiers. So, let's get this started. We are on Viaduct, and this should be interesting. Who to watch, who to watch, who to watch. Uh, of course, the ESC config like starts like three times or something before it actually gets going, but here we go. We're going to watch Jaguar Fiend on his rollout right here to mid, getting there before uh, his opposing Demo, OBJ, so a nice... A relic there. He does take quite a bit of damage. Gonna have to fall back. Uh, we do have a roaming soldier over here getting uh, behind the blue team, uh, Team uh, Echelon. And Pyrokinetis went down right there, and that's gonna be pretty close to a wipe. Only Pi here is up, and I think he was just a respawn. So very decisive, very decisive battle right there. Oh no, here's a uh, here's Pi Hero trying to get something going right there on point, but not able to do so. And uh, that will be pretty decisive mid fight for Wu Tang Financial. So a uh, good. Good start for them. I didn't lose their medic, so Radium's gonna have that nice uber advantage as they try to defend mid right here on King of the Hill. My Dutch Pro. Already we're seeing a lot of action. These guys are very aggressive, which is something I love to see. Otherwise, uh, King of the Hill can uh, get kind of uh, boring, but already Team Echelon is pushing forward. They don't have any sort of uber advantage, but they are. Uh, Pushing forward nonetheless, taking down Zigster, and now here comes the Uber Pop with a heavy, interesting Cole who went heavy. Uh, did not see that happening, but a uh, nice defense. Well, Blue did manage to cap the point, but in comes W2F with the recap right there with the heavy. Interesting, but uh, Kinetis does have this 100%. Uh, who to watch? Watch Purple is a uh, pocket, I guess, on this as they push now on to a mid. Purple's gonna get that over heels. Or is Purple his, the Roamer? I think he is indeed. Actually, no, he's getting this pop right here. Uh, splashed among several people right here. Gotta target down the Heavy, and Heavy does go down. He just sits right there on his butt. And uh, they do take down Cole and Clam, but will it be enough? They gotta finish off uh, some of these other heavier classes, like uh, Demo is still alive. Looks like Pi Hero is trying to go after him, but not able to do so. Scouts are gonna fall back, and... Blue is going to be able to hold on to the point right there, but uh, Radium has got this uber advantage. They've been playing with that uh, pretty much since the beginning. Uh, we'll see how they decide to play this. Uh, if they're going to run that heavy again, Cole is back on Soldier. So uh, no more heavy for the time being at least, but we do have 100% going to watch as... Oh, the uber is forced right there, but it's not necessarily the worst pop for WTF. Um, but actually, now it may be because Medic is just out in no man's zone. I uh, just cannot figure out any, anyone to heal to take advantage of that uber. Uh, and although they did get uh, Zen and Pincushion, it uh, is is not what they wanted to do with that uber. And Pyrokinetis is going to have that 100% ready to go very soon and uh, ready to go right now. In fact, popped um, purpley. Yes, her purple. Sorry, there's no additional. Uh, additional uh, ease in there, but uh, who is his pocket? Yes, confirmed. Um, no gunboats or anything like that. And doing a good job pressuring the team back, but so far neither medic has died except for Kinetis in the opening mid-fight. So these teams are doing a very good job of protecting their medics. Uh, we'll see uh, how that continues to go as Blue has captured the point, so Echelon uh, times are about even, so uh, nobody like really dominating at this point. Radium has this over real close again, so we'll see what they decide to do with this. Oh, popped as uh, Romer comes in from behind. Again, a force pop right there. We'll see if it's going to be that damaging, though. But Cole is trying to get up on uh, Pyrokinetis. Not going to be able to do it. And uh, some good defense right there. Kinetis does get away with about 80%. Oh, but they're still after him. Oh, and he does go down right there. Some good aggression from Wu-Tang Financial and uh, tracking down Kinetis right there, and he dies with about like 90% uber, so uh, very, very heartbreaking to Team Echelon. Uh, now we'll see this forward defense that we've got going on. So Zigster is the roamer, you can tell by his gunboats and his awesome hat that has circling stuff. Uh, sorry, but I uh, shouldn't pay too much attention to hats right now. There's lots of things going on. Like, like I said, these teams are really uh, not satisfied with uh, holding back or anything. Oh, nice. 
Rock right there from Zigster. Let's get on his cam. He was doing some nice work. Uh, very, very hurt. Uh, Blue is going to be building at spawn, which is a good idea because they've got to do something right now. Uh, only about 45 seconds left for Wu Tang Financial to hold on to the point. Zigster just sending some spam in here, and uh, really, they. Wu Tang Financial is in a good position, they just have to wait for Blue to push in, so it's uh, pressure's all on Team Echelon right now. I'll uh, see what they can do. Trying to force an Uber or something. Uh, Echelon loses purple though, so that's uh, not going to be great for this push. Ooh, we do have the Uber popped, but Cole gets dropped in that, so uh, Cole is down, so is Clam, but uh, Blue is not going to have enough players to capitalize on that, at least for the time being. Kinetis is about 90%. Where is he, and will he be able to do anything with this? Um, so he is still alive, he has his pocket with him, and they will be able to get onto the point. They have this Uber, but they can't pop it, of course, if they're trying to cap, and they will be able to cap. Absolutely clutch right there, so now they can pop this Uber uh, for defense, if they even need to. Nice pipe there by Jaguar, uh, takes out Cole. And still hanging on to this Uber. They got about a minute left, though. So this is going to be very, very tense. And of course, all WTF has to do is cap it once. And uh, they will win the round. Very, very tense right here. Radium is maybe we'll have an Uber um, if they are building right now. Uh, here comes the rumor trying to force the pop on Kinetis. Kinetis is getting out of the way and does not pop. Absolutely brilliant right there. Uh, continues. No, he gets taken down by Crossfire. Then the scout who comes in out to follow up on that bomb. But will it be enough? Kinetis was the only one who died on blue. And there's a wipe for red. Oh my goodness, did not see that coming. So they lose their med with the 100% Uber. But Team Echelon may be able to hold on. Red has got to get something going. WTF is uh, WTF gonna do? <laughs> is the question. Uh... Not gonna be enough time for an Uber or anything like that. Uh, I, here comes their final push. Um, Blue is just trying to stay alive right now because at the last minute they need to stop any cap that is happening. Uh, they did lose Zen right there. Oh, and Purple, so both soldiers going down, and that is not gonna be enough. So WTF comes back and caps it. So really gross round right there. Love it. Absolutely great. Let's watch OBG. OBJ, sorry about that. OBJ on his rollout. He is looking princely or kingly or. Um, Kingly, I guess would be the word for it. Ooh, missing some of his jumps, and that's actually going to put him at mid uh, significantly later than uh, Jaguar. We'll see if that does any difference right here. And <laughs> just these teams are so aggressive. Here comes a Roamer in trying to track down the medic, but oh no. Oh, uh, Zen is still alive? Where did he get to? But uh, anyway, for Echelon, losing everybody right there. Actually, it's a wipe right there. OMG says purple in chat uh, was not completely following all that action, just trying to figure out what was going on. Oh man. Six is, is even though there's only 12 people and there's six less people than on Highlander, sometimes it is so confusing because everybody's got their own very specific strategy, the thing they're doing. Um, whereas sometimes Highlander, some people are doing like the exact same things. I don't know. It, it makes sense in my head that Sixes is more complicated and, and harder to, to cast than uh, Highlander. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, here comes Jaguar uh, coming in and getting taken down right there by Cole. Oh, here's the Force Pop. Some nice work by Pi here getting in on the med. Uh, we'll see what WTF can do with this uh, Forced Uber Pop. And uh, so far, they're just going to push up, which is not a bad idea. Is uh, Radium, where is he and what is he but taking down? Oh, okay, so Clam got in here behind, but Radium got a ton of damage there on Zen and the danger zone for sure, but getting out, surprisingly. Kenneth is going to have this uber advantage because there was that force pop, so, uh, so good news at least there for Echelon. Uh, but WTF is still in a good position right here. They, uh, just gotta wait for that pop and keep Radium alive and then, uh, able to come back and be able to come back to uh, cap the point. So let's see um, what red throws at Echelon to see uh, any terms of force pop or anything like that. Um, Echelon is actually waiting quite a bit right now and Radium might have this uber. Radium is at 96%. The uber uh, for blue is popped as they go in, taking out Crossfire right there. Not able to get anybody else, and they do have this uber ready for WTF, and they pop it indeed. Uh, trying to clean up what is left of blue's uber right here. We'll see if they can get in it. Pincushion goes down. Jaguar is up, uh, but falling back, and uh, Kinetis did survive, but he is back as well. 
So a nice uh, pop right there uh, from WTF to kind of clean up after that uh, Uber wore off. And look at this time. I didn't realize it, but WTF has controlled the clock this entire round. So they have really gotten, uh, gotten their work and uh, act together, whereas uh, Team Echelon just can't, can't seem to get their Ubers uh, going or, or doing anything uh, uh, what they need to be doing. They're not getting the kills with Ubers. They're getting ground, but uh, it's not going to make a difference if you don't kill the medic and you have, you're at that uh, Uber disadvantage. Uh, we're going to watch Purple as he tries to get in here and just get some kills. They are actually capping the point right here, and it uh, looks like WTF is just going to let them have it. They're working on their Uber as well as uh, Team Echelon. We're probably going to have Ubers here pretty close to even. Uh, Blue actually does pop first. Uh, interesting right there. Purple does take down Cole. Uh, trying to figure out any more other uh, WTF people to kill, but now they're just going to retreat and leave Radium with a 90%. Uber Purple uh, taking down Crossfire on the cliff right there, and uh, it's just that Uber just did not kill enough people again. So uh, they're not getting the, uh, the the frags, the kills that they need to. Here we do have Red Uber popped in retaliation in order to uh, save the point, and uh, WTF looking pretty good right here. They just have to uh, guard the point for a few more seconds. Uh, Blue is getting on the point right now. Oh, can I just go flying? Takes a little bit of damage right there. Nobody for red except the scout, Crossfire, who's doing crazy work. We'll see if he can finish off a demo right here. Um, he's doing some great dodging. The bottle comes out. Nobody. What? Oh my goodness. Uh, we'll see. Uh, can Crossfire do it? And Crossfire does eventually take it down. Jaguar being clam comes in and finishes off purple. As well, so the scout's going pretty big right there at the end. All they have to do is cap once, and that is going to be the second round going to Wutang Financial. So, so, let's take a look at scores real quick, and WTF is, I mean, Radium is the only one whose score is like really out of the uh, usual right here. He's got 40, where uh, everyone else closest is uh, 29, so. Uh, showing good work right there. A nice air shot. Uh, did Zixter, I don't think he got. Uh, oh, he finished off purple right there, so. It counts. Sweet air shot. I mean, huge air shot. There we go. And uh, continue. Both medics surviving as Blue's pushing up. Oh, Kinetis just walked over a roller right there. Survived, though, and does cap the point with his team. Uh, he's going to have a little bit of over advantage over Radium, who had to fall back and wasn't healing during that entire time. We will see, though, how uh, Echelon decides to take advantage of it. We saw last round they are a little bit hesitant to use this uber advantage, um, but that was when they were pushing into the point. We'll see uh, how they play this defensively. Looks, uh... Oh man, Kinetis almost has my exact medic loadout, except I have an unusual, so therefore I'm a better medic than uh, Power Kinetis. Oh, Kinetis taking a lot of damage right here, not popping! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, he's a much better medic than I am, because I would have probably peed my pants and then popped and then dropped uh, at the same time. Anyway, a uh, good uber retaliation right there, but does go down to Crossfire, who um, snuck up on him. Radium surviving all that, though, and Echelon just not giving the backup uh, and support that their medic needed right there. So Red does cap the point in Hums. Purple trying to finish off something and stop it, but uh, not able to do so, and he does go down to Clam. Uh, Echelon's going to be building at uh, spawn right here as Red taking some pretty... Oh, I see. <laughs> little spy checking action, too. Uh, Cole is very paranoid about spies. So far, we haven't any off-classing. Um, oh, well, we did, of course. We, we did see the heavy. There we go, yeah. Uh, so we'll see, uh, wait and continue. See, wait and continue, those, uh, those are fun active verbs. But anyway, huge kills coming in here from Echelon. Just a nice push, um, connecting and get out the... Oh man, what is my slogan? Get out the sham wow, because that's a wipe. There we go. It's been a while since I've said it. But uh, yeah, that's, a, that's official, officially mine. Uh, anyway, so a nice push right there. I wish I were better at analyzing sixes to let you know what was happening right and uh, what Echelon was doing right for, for them right there. Um, but we're going to see as Bami coming in on Pyrokinetis. Where is he? He went flying but survived. Does pop the Uber with, oh my god, about 30 health left. Um, and his team is helping clean up. They just got to finish off Radium right now, who's only got Clam to protect him. Uh, where is that pesky medic? Uh, looks like they will not be able to follow up and get that kill. But a nice 
nice pop right there and nice uh, nice cleanup of the enemy team so going to put uh, echelon at an uber disadvantage but uh, they have a time advantage right now we're gonna be going to less than 60 seconds in a second here in four seconds here <laughs> And here comes the Uber popped. It looks like it was forced right there because Red was not in a great position. Radium is now going to have to get back. Yeah, Radium had about half health, so no doubt that was popped. Uh, they will not be able to get on the point in time, will they, though? They have got some time, but uh, Pai here are doing a good job defending the point. Oh, man, a lot of blue players going down. Red did lose Radium right there. Uh, Clam will be up and caps that point, so they have to hold it for two minutes, which is a pretty long time in uh, TF2 time, but uh, absolutely not uh, impossible. So uh, who, who to watch? We'll watch Clam as he's just trying to uh, get support to his uh, fellow scouters up there. They need more presence on the point. Uh, here comes the jump in. Zen trying to stop him from doing anything and uh, not able to cap or stop that point or not really willing to and now they know they're at the uber disadvantage so WTF is trying to play carefully right here but they can't afford too much time uh, to waste because they are 23 seconds away from losing this round Harkonnen still has his uber finally pops it with 30 health damn boy <laughs> he's got nerves of steel absolutely uh, great work right there and then purple takes down radium that's going to uh, solidify this round for team echelon uh, unless this scout can go huge and clam definitely wants to but not gonna be able to little bit of red overtime and there we go that's the end of it so team echelon comes back and wins the third round so it is two to one WTF is in the lead though so we'll see uh, what uh, Wu Tang and team echelon have come for us. I think those are probably the best team names in open. There are some pretty crazy team names in open. But I think Team Echelon is like, it's like very classic. I like it. And then Wu Tang Financial is just hilarious. Uh, Purple trying to get in there and do something, but he goes down. Kinetis goes down. Nicole right there. Radium goes down. We have just a ton of casualties everywhere. Only two versus two. And it's so, oh my goodness, it's scouts versus uh, two scouts versus one scout. And uh, as far as I know, two is greater than one. And uh, definitely Pi Hero and Pincushion show that right now with a little taunting on the point. That uh, wasn't necessary, but I, I appreciate it because I love that scout town. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So, uh,. Red gonna have to try to come back from that. Ubers will be even because both meds went down in that uh, in that mid fight. We'll see uh, how they decide to play this. Kinetis and Co uh, playing a little further up right there. Radium just went down. Jaguar, I'm on the wrong camera, obviously. Jaguar took down a quite a few pity boys right there. Cole is trying to get the. Oh, he did get the kill on Kinetis. Wow, forcing him down right there and. Uh, Who's up alive to finish this? We do have demo for WTF, but OBJ comes next and takes down Pi Hero and Zen right there to stop. Uh, Erect says OBJ, a oh, pretty, pretty accurate uh, description right there. As his team comes back and caps mid, time is ticking. Uber's um, let's see, is, are they building or is he just okay? Yeah. Well, we are. <laughs> Seen some building from WTF, so they're gonna have a bit of an uber advantage right here. Uh, however, they are falling back as uh, Blue is really committing to this uh, this push right here without any discernible advantage, and actually they're doing a great job. Zigster is in behind them, but they know he's there, and he was hurt, went down pretty easily right there. So a uh, nice push right there. Radium went down, and that's gonna buy a huge advantage for Pyrokinetis and Team Echelon. So. Uh, so yeah, really good push right there. Uh, surprised by it, but it worked. Let's uh, see what Jaguar Fiend is doing. See if he can't connect with some of these air pills. Not gonna happen. Is uh, his pyro or is... Okay. Cole. Oh, Cole did force the pop right there. Oh, but some nice work. Uh, who took that down? Zen took down uh, WTF's medic right there. So a great push. And it uh, looks like things are coming together for Team Echelon. They uh, are getting the kills and frags they need to and keeping Kinetis alive, or uh, at least uh, making the most of those forces when they have them. Radium, however, oh, it's falling back. But when you ever have the needles out as a medic, it's not good. Or unless, unless you're a really good medic with the needles, then it's not good for the other people. Um, yeah, that was 
all I have to say with this. Radium is just, he's abandoned all alone. Poor Radium. Oh my goodness. So sad. Didn't have anyone heal or anyone to protect him from that uh, nice aggression by Blue. Red is trying to come back and, and they put a lot of time on the point here. Will it be enough though? Oh, Cole just tracked down Pyrokinetis right there and took his Uber out. We'll see, uh, so Ubers will be about even then, and Red is somehow, uh, WTF doing a good job holding onto the point, but just as I say that, of course, uh, Crossfire and Clam go down, so no scouts can make it that much tougher to hold on, and Blue swarming on the point right now, and Echelon will recap it. There's only about 35 seconds left for them to hold on to the point. Kinetis is up right now, and actually Ubers are not that even, because Kinetis was not healing because most of his team was, uh, capping the point. So Radium is going to have this uber advantage. I don't think he's going to be able to get uber in time unless they're building and they really don't want to waste the time building. Cole's coming in and uh, doing a great job taking out pain cushion. Crossfire takes out, <coughs> excuse me, not, uh, Pai here, I think. And Blue's losing a lot of players. Will Echelon be able to hold on to this is the question. And it looks like they will. Well, here comes Demo trying for some last minute heroics. Radium is going to try to get in there, but Purple is having none of that. And now it's 2 to 2. Echelon has come back to tie it up. Let's watch the clam cam. Because I like saying clam cam. Clam cam. Say it. It's pretty fun. Clam cam. <laughs> So watch his rollout to spotted the jumping soldier and uh, some nice targeting takes down Zen right there. Going for the other soldier? Not exactly sure right yet, but um, oh, taking out Pincushion right there. So some good meat shots. Uh, spotted out Pyrokinetis, so see if he can get him, but a uh, good protection by Purple. And actually, Purple is dominating Clam right now. Oh, is Kinetis going to be able to survive this one, though? He is! Zen just took out Zigster. Kinetis with about 30 health left. My goodness. I can't decide if Pyrokinetis is really good or really lucky. Or his teammates are really good, because he's been surviving some stuff that he should not be. Oh, Zen is in behind Radium, do they know he's here? He's uh, now in the house. Oh, Zen really shouldn't be alive right now. Oh my goodness, finally he does go down. But OBJ had about 30 health left right there. Um, Uber is popped. Radium, I'm not sure. Uh, was that a force? Uh, Radium was about to have health, so maybe it was a force. Um, but Blue has popped in return, and theirs looks a little more planned, I think. I don't know. Can I just this at full health, so maybe not as a, a panic pop as much. Uh, so Blue still has control of the point, and time is ticking rather slowly. Uh, oh, but Purple coming in and getting a big jump there on Radium. Radium down, gonna buy a nice uber advantage. Let's just watch the, the Zen cam. Not as fun to say as Clam cam, but uh, still pretty fun. Oh well, not when he falls back and gets health. Oh, we have some off-classing again, finally. Pi Hero has a gone a sniper, which is a very... <laughs> can be very, very dominant on uh, on Viaduct when you have a, a sniper who knows what he's doing. Uh, we'll see how Pi here approaches this. He's just moving positions, which is absolutely what you have to do. Um, make sure you're not spotted out. Uh, he has found the medic. Uh, did he get a shot? At oh! Did not get the shot in OBJ, but oh my goodness, I I see some sparkling body. I think the Kinetis just dropped right there. That was huge. Of course, I was watching the sniper cam, and wow, there's the first wipe for Echelon. So, get at the sham. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so, we'll see if Pi Hero sticks on Pi uh, Sniper, as that uh, did not appear to be the best class to help his team right there. Uh, WTF is going to push forward pretty far. Look at this. They're all up in uh, Echelon's business. Um, but Radium definitely has to watch his back because. Blue is making some progress now on right, and yeah, Radium is going to fall back. Probably the best bet right there, as uh, Team Echelon is is smelling blood. They wanted this very bad. Uh, Uber is popped right there. A little bit of a force. They did see uh, Purple coming in, trying to get that force. So he's, he's still actually behind the lines right now. Or is that... Yeah, that is Purple. He's wearing the purple ears. Duh. Still behind the lines, could do a lot of damage right here. I don't know who to watch. I kind of want to watch him, but I know there's stuff happening on the points right now, too. Oh, air kill right there. Takes down purple. It was so fast, you could barely see it happens, but uh, he's going for the bed, not able to do it, and Radium gets out alive. OBJ, meanwhile, doing some good work to take down High Hero. 
um, who is not on the sniper anymore, so back to scout. As Zen is in behind here, we'll see if he can't do any damage. He's been spotted out, pulls out that escape plan. Not going to escape from that, so that was not a good plan. Well, it was a good plan, but yeah. Y you know what I'm saying, it's a pun. It's punny. <laughs> oh yeah, both Ubers, even both Ubers popped as uh, Blue tries to get this last bit of time on the point. Oh, Kinetis is just caught in a whirlstorm of rockets and goes down right there. Radium stays alive, so a good position for WTF right now. As time is ticking down, they got about a minute and eight seconds left along with their medic up, so they're in a not-too-shabby position. However, Blue does have a lot of time on that point. So they're gonna have to stay close to the point in order to secure their, uh, their ownership of it, if you will. And Cole is severely out of season. He's wearing the Santa hat and the festive rock rocket launcher, and uh, I nobody informed him that you're not supposed to keep your Christmas lights up after January 10th. I just made that up, but uh, pretty much by Martin Luther King Day, your Christmas lights should be off. Or, yeah, or down. Or whatever. There's stuff happening, but uh, I'm talking about Christmas lights, so why would you uh, want to know about the stuff happening? <laughs> Radium goes down. Pi Hero tracks him out right there. Oh, Jaguar Fiend trying to get something, but Zigster uh, finishes him off. Pirate Kinetis went down as well, so no medics for these teams as Echelon is uh, losing the point right now to a WTF. Uh, OBJ putting down some good sticks as he's just trying to secure this, and they do cap the point. Only 35 seconds left for Wu Tang Financial to hold on to this. Neither team is going to have an Uber in time. Uh, so we're just gonna watch this defense as uh, here comes Purple trying to bomb in, trying to make something happen. We do have a scout in on Kinetis, but uh, we'll see if the defense can hold. Clam does go down. Pincushion takes down Zigster too. Uh, oh, we've got three up for each team. Uh, Kinetis is really hurt though, so he's not gonna survive at all. And in comes a huge jump by Zen. He does take out Radium, but he goes down to Cole. Little bit of blue left on the point, but that's going to rapidly decrease. And there we go. We're going to go into halftime with a score of 3-2. to two. Wu Tang Financial is in the lead. Let's take a look at scores real quick, and then we'll go to halftime break. So Radium is up there in points, and as we saw, but though, Pyrokinetis has really caught up with him. And otherwise, the uh, scores look pretty darn even, which is pretty crazy. Uh, so those are your scores. We're going to go take a brief halftime break and be right back. We're back with the second half. Remember, Wu-Tang Financial is leading 3-2. to two. We do play 2-5 here on ESEA. And uh, we will see teams have been switched, so colors are reversed. So keep that in mind as we're seeing this crazy damage go down. Radium took a lot of damage right there. He's going to have to fall back without a lot of protection. Um, Pyrokinetis is looking pretty good, and a nice mid-fight right there from Echelon did a good job of taking down a few players right there. But Radium survived, uh, so we're going to have about Uber... Uber evils is what I was going to say, but equal Ubers is uh, the correct English. Or about as correct as I can get right now. So let's see what uh, what's going on. A little pause in action here, which is unusual for these teams because they've both been really aggressive. Okay, there. Pause over. Pause is over. In comes bombing. Soldier Zigster does go down. Uh, also have some aggression on the point right here. So far, Uber is just now being popped. Red is popped significantly earlier, so Kinetis is going to have to get out of there if he wants to survive. Uh, he's being chased down right now, and some nice scout work right there from Clam. Taking out Jaguar as well, so good cleanup by Clam. And uh, get out the sham. Well, that's a wipe, but it was a very fast wipe right there. So nice aggression and nice uh, counter push right there from Blue and WTF to take back the points. And time is ticking. Tick tock tick. We'll watch the coal cam real quick as he uh, cleans up right there, uh, taking down purple and... Oh, no, he actually didn't get purple. He did get Zen right there, so both soldiers out for Echelon. As they're trying to just uh, get in there and increase pressure, <laughs> in comes Jaguar being too, but Cole again shuts that down. So some nice defense from Cole. But I mean, right now, uh, Team Echelon is just throwing players in there, see if they can't uh, get Radium, can't get something to happen as uh, their medic is building at spawn. So, I mean... Not huge losses right there. 
at least uh, that is Echelon's thought process, I think. Please tell me if it is not. <laughs> uh, here comes the Uber Pop Cole trying to get in on Pyrokinetis. Kinetis not having that Uber yet. Uh, Cole is actually just to abandon that plan and he does take down Jaguar. Uh, Kinetis is still around, but Cole is going to be able to finish him off. No, he's not able to do so. Uh, Kinetis survives without about 20 health. They do have this Uber right now. Radium just went down, so a nice advantage here from Echelon. Uh, just staying alive there is uh, pretty much something it's the best thing to Well, okay. Staying alive, duh, obviously the best thing to do, but uh, I don't know where I was going with that. I do not know where I was going with that. Uh, Uber trying to be forced right here. Zigster trying to get in on Pyro Kinetis, but not able to do so. Uh, I'm serious. Kinetis is just like crazy ice in his veins. Does not uh, pop when not needed. Uh, may have to get something going here as a scout. It will be in from behind. We'll see if his demo can air pipe uh, crossfire out. So there we go. Some nice defense. Again, Radium is down, so Kinetis has this 100% Uber. Uh, looks like Echelon is just going to hold on to it for now. Uh, Kinetis is going to do some rock climbing. And uh, this off time, he's going to take some time to explore the world, find himself, uh, heal up some people. As uh, Blue is just trying to get anything to happen, uh, Uber is popped right there. Uh, looks like that's what Kinetis wanted to do. Radium went down, so Uber's will be even. Uh, actually, Kinetis is going to have a little bit of advantage again. So, uh, some really nice work coming from Echelon. Oh, we have a bombing soldier trying to take out Kinetis. He does. Zigster gets Kinetis. So, a nice big pick right there. Zigster himself does go down. We only have about 55 seconds left for Team Echelon. So, uh, WTF is going to have to get something going here in order to save this round for them. Wait, do we play to four or three? I mean, three or five. <laughs> I mean, four or five. Anyway. We're just gonna play until uh, until there's no more playing. <clears throat> that that those are words. I ha it's been a long time since I've casted sixes, so you have to excuse me. But anyway, WTF is gonna come back. We'll cap this point and put a kink in the plans of Team Echelon. Uh, Pyrokinetis just going down right there. Oh no, Cole is almost got caught. Uh, oh, Zen did go down right there. He did enough damage, so Zen was out. But they do have the unfortunate task, that is, WTF has the unfortunate task of defending this for a minute and a half. And, uh, gonna be difficult, although Radium does have 100% uh, Uber right now, so they can pop that whenever they darn well please. Um, gonna have to watch out. Ooh, I like it! Pyrokinetis is on crits! Changing up stuff a little bit, not a bad idea. Uh, we will see how it goes. Uber is popped, Kinetis has to get out of there as fast as possible. Um, and also we have the heavy, so Pi Hero on heavy and crits going. Interesting strats right here from Team Echelon. Pi Hero does go down on the point. Kinetis is still alive. That ooh, crits is going up. Uh, will it be here in time to do anything? Is the question. Forty-four seconds left for Wu Tang Financial to hold on to the point. Only twenty-five seconds, remember, for Team Echelon. Uh, so this crits is going to come very, very soon. And you bet, as soon as he uh, Kinetis, Pyro Kinetis gets it, he's going to pop it. Uh, 95. Oh, can he survive? Oh, why did I just go through the walls? <laughs> Crossfire takes down Pyrokinetis as he almost had that crits. Could have been huge. Not gonna happen though. Only 12 seconds left for Team Echelon to hold on to this point. And looks like they are getting these reinforcements right now, so it may actually happen. Only two up, only one up, or two now with a respawn for WTF. They will not be able to come in here, and it looks like it's gonna be some sort of crazy defense. For Team Echelon, they held on. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I know when. It was right here, right now. <laughs> so we are tied up 3-2-3. Three, three. Do we go to 4-3? to three? You know, hold on. Alright, confirmed we do play to 4 UCA. Sorry, been a while, so that means when we're in this round, we'll take it all. It's been a hard fought battle right now. Um, absolutely crazy. Uh, this was the first game of the season for these two teams, I believe. So uh, definitely getting things off to a crazy competitive start. Oh, Zixer trying to get in there and does take down Pyrokinetis. Wow, a nice pick right there. Radium is the only one alive before WTF. So uh, WTF won't be able to capitalize on that medic pick, but uh, they will have a bit of an uber advantage right here. So let's see how they play this. 
Excuse Kinetis. Pyrokinetis still, uh, he, he went back to the regular metagun, which I'm a little disappointed in. I love to see the crits on Viaduct. Uh, especially with the demo, it can be absolutely devastating. Uh, and here we do have a blue team pushing in. Zen is going to get in there to stop the cap, but uh, meanwhile, purple and Zen going down. Only Pi Hero alive. Oh, and Pyrokinetis gets tracked down and killed by Zigster right there so uh, not a good few seconds for team echelon wtf that was looking good about two minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock again i'm going to call out cole for leaving up his christmas lights too late even though this probably happened in like december but still i'm gonna call him out because that's kind of all i get going for me in sixes hats Gonna watch Jaguar Fiend as he gets in here. Oh, Radium is has that 100% and does pop it down to 20 health. Absolutely crazy. So uh, I've been talking about Kinetis and how he's been holding on to these Ubers, but uh, Radium is absolutely doing a great job as well. Uh, so it does pop that in just the right amount of time to hold on to the point for his team, but Kinetis is gonna have this Uber very, very soon. In fact, right now. <laughs> So we'll watch as uh, they decide to push in. I'll uh, see how they play. Oh, it's the crits! Of course it is! And Jaguar Fiend connects with Radium, taking out that mad. Kinetis did go down, however, so unfortunate for Team Echelon. They did get the medic pick, but uh, there goes the entire Echelon team. We do have Pi Hero left. We'll see if he can't take on a scout and a demo all by himself. He's doing some good dodging, but that's not going to be off. Clam takes him down. And uh, I like the idea of the crits. I mean, I absolutely love the idea of the crits, but it just put uh, put them out of position, and uh, Team Echelon was very easily cleaned up after that. So, very disappointing for them. We watch the Clam Cam as he takes down Pincushion in midair. As uh, Wu-Tang Financial is holding on about one minute left. Can they do this? Remember, this is a whole... Uh, whole game right here. Whoever wins this will win it all. I'm, I love when it comes down to one round. It's so exciting. Oh! Crossfire takes down Kinetis. Pyro Kinetis from behind, so no medic for Team Echelon. Clam gets taken down. Uh, Pinkushin is on a little bit of a roll right now as he uh, continues to the point. Where is he? Did he... Uh... Pinkushin is still alive and continuing on. I think he's got like a 3k right there. See if he can't finish off Cole. And is at 4k right there. So Pinkushin on a little bit of a roll. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of it. Two minutes left. For Team Echelon, 2 minutes 15 seconds, it's going to be quite the tough task holding on. We'll see though, only about 45 seconds for WTF. I just want to keep on the Pinkerton cam because he's doing such a good job. Uh, of course, as soon as I say anything like that, and he'll probably die. But uh, Clam is in here behind. Clam is taking down. Pyro finishes him off. Oh, hey, that's a medic back to Pincushion and takes down Radium, takes down Cole. Oh, finishes off OBG right there. OBJ, I'm sorry. Let's see if he can't get this last. <laughs> he does. He does finish off Zigster right there. So I, I lost count track. Six Ks in a row. Um, really, really nice work there from Pincushion. I'll uh, we'll see how this ends. We got about a minute 25 left for Team Echelon. Only 45 seconds for Wu-Tang to hold up. But Echelon has his 100% Uber. And uh, they will pop it, actually. Uh, Kinetis loses purple in there, and uh, we had a backstab somewhere. Crossfire has gone gone uh, spy and finishes Pirate Kinetis right there with the revolver. And that's a, oh my goodness, absolute uh, wipe right there. That's such good news for WTF. Absolutely what they needed. Um, the spy play, so unpredicted right there, uh, and absolutely... I think I'm saying absolutely a lot, but uh, really well executed. Exactly what they needed. They're in a good position right now. Uh, they need. They will not have Uber, but uh, Radium just has to stay alive right here. Purple gets taken out on his jump. Radium taking a lot of damage, but OBJ is helping him out. Kinetis goes down right there. So, oh man, this may be it. Only 12 seconds left. WTF is going to pull out the heavy for some heavy uh, defense of the point, and this may be it. We do have a lot of time for for uh, Team Echelon on the point there, and in comes Purple taking out Radium out of nowhere. But uh, this going to have a lot more work ahead of Team Echelon if they want to finish this up. Oh, Epic Pie here getting a 2k in there. Pyrokinetis ran straight into Crossfire just trying to do a... Uh, 
Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh my goodness, so Kinetis just ran straight into the heavy, trying to get an uber saw in there just as a last minute plea, but somehow Echelon came back, capped the point, and wiped WTF, so Kinetis feeling a little stupid right now because uh, he would have had a nice uber advantage, but regardless, this is a crazy comeback for Team Echelon, only 40 seconds left, we'll see if they can hold on to it. Uh, everything is in the balance right here, uh, we'll see if they can't... Team Echelon has pulled out a heavy, meanwhile WTF has gone for back to their standard lineup. Uh, that heavy uh, pincushion is going to be so good, he's going to be so overhealed, all he has to do is kept, be kept spun up on the point, and that's what WTF was going for But uh, in their previous defense, but they lost their medic. However, if Byron stays alive with his heavy here, this could be it. We still have some time at the point, and they still have a chance to win this, but it's looking less and less likely. Uh, here come the final... Final attempts by Butang Financial. Oh my goodness, Pyrokinesis is so close to an Uber now. He does pop it, he gets it, he stays on the point, and this may be it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, OBJ was trying to go for something right there. Uber's just now wearing off. Only Cole is alive. I don't think he will be able to get back to the point in time, and that is going to go to Echelon. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Whew. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Great match between Team Echelon and Wu Tang Financial. Goes to Echelon in the last seconds possible. Uh, some really nice work there. Both meds did absolutely great job. And uh, Pincushion with that like 6k or whatever, it was great. But Clam on the other side is doing some really nice work too. Again, my uh, success analysis is it awesome. I don't know, I'm nowhere by means an expert, but I really like watching good sixes plays. And I, I think that's, that's definitely what these teams got. Um, you, you, even... I mean, people say open is just whatever, but open is these like, these guys are great. Anyway, that that was my that was my ramble of sixes. Anyway, thanks so much to Pyrokinetis who sent this in. Hope I wasn't too hard on him. Um, but that's about it. If you want to see your demos cast, definitely hit me up at falafel1066 at yahoo.com, or you can tweet me at at kiptf2 on Twitter and other fun stuff like that. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good day.